Hare Krishna. A lesson on the utilization of social media. Quickly. This is Mott's fruit snacks. This is Kirkland fruit snacks. And this is Welch's fruit snacks. So last summer at the reading program that I work at, we were distributing Welch's fruit snacks to the children. But Welch's has gluten in it. It also has gelatin. Meaning, Sun Man Patu can't eat Welch's fruit snacks because I don't eat gelatin. I mean, if you could make up some vegetarian gelatin or you know something that don't come from a, the cow's hoof, sure, I'd be on it. But basically, I was just talking to a friend and I was telling her that, I said, you know what, I'm about to put Welch's on blast on Twitter and say, aha, Mott's and Kirkland does not have any gelatin or gluten. I could care less about gluten. I'm not a, a gluten for now. I don't, pss, I eat gluten, whatever it is, pss, I eat it, you know, I'm not allergic to that stuff. When I was a kid, I ate bread, never allergic to that. Only in this Monsanto era do you have people allergic to normal stuff like bread. Like, who's allergic to bread? You never heard about stuff like that. Peanut allergies when I was a kid? Never. Maybe you might see somebody who was allergic to shellfish, but that's because shrimp and lobster and all of that is just cockroaches that live in the sea. Anybody with common sense should be allergic to that, as a matter of fact. Your brain should override and say, nope, nope, we don't eat roaches. So check it, right? Prabhupada teaches there's a lecture called Real Riches, something about real riches and cows. And it was done in 1966, I believe it was, in either Montreal or New York. And in this lecture, Prabhupada specifically said that Krishna requires that anything we do, it should be done in full knowledge. No superstitious activities in your rituals. You have to know what you're doing and you have to know the exact results. So that's why I like to go to Twitter. Like if I have a complaint about a company or if I have, even if I want to send blessings to a company, I go to Twitter because they actually respond. When you got a problem with your, your Boost Mobile bill, your T-Mobile bill, you go on Twitter, you find that company and be like, listen, I got such and such problem. They will get back to you. Trust me. You put them on blast. This is the way. So you can get things done. So I was just saying that I'm going to use Twitter to shout out Mott and I'm going to shout out Kirkland and I'm going to laugh at Welch's because at this point in the game, you should be accommodating people with special dietary needs. Look, even McDonald's, even McDonald's now, they want to make a healthy menu. You know why? Because people are tired of eating dead children at McDonald's. That's right. You heard what I said. People are tired of eating dead kids at McDonald's. So now they want to get their little health health meal popping I should get I should blast them too you know what I mean I love doing this stuff like I get results so once again don't do nothing out of superstition don't offer carrots to your deities or, 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 or whatever don't do nothing superstitious don't do nothing just because it's ritualistic and it looks good know what you are doing and know the results you will get out of it this is what Krishna asked us to do and this is what led to the pastime of Govardhan Hill. Look up Govardhan Hill because he questions his father intelligently. He said, Father, what is this ritual you doing? Huh? Go over somewhere else? You don't want no truth near you? Okay, I'm going to go over somewhere else. All right, cool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always doing videos in Costco's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so, you know, Krishna even questioned his own father about these rituals. Is this, is this tradition? Is this just a ritual? Why are you doing this? And what's going to be the result? And that led to the incident of the Govardhan Hill being lifted after they actually turned their back on the deity named Indra. So once again, no superstition, no rituals, unless you know what you're doing and you know what you're going to get out of it. Other than that, it's a possibility not only are you wasting your time, but you can also be bringing negativity into your life. These rituals are nothing to play with. I know because I'm kind of familiar with, like, I wouldn't say Santeria, but I would say Palo Mayombe. And it didn't hurt me. It just led me to Krishna consciousness. But I could see the dangers. Dealing with demigods, they're just as finicky as people. You know what I mean? So just be careful and know what you're getting into. Hare Krishna.